Okay guys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Chemistry Revision. Today what we're going to be looking at is the periodic table. And like I said guys, we always come back to the periodic table. That's why I said you have to make friends with the periodic table. So it's the periodic table plus uh, the electronic configuration or the electronic structure of elements. Uh, so that's our topic for today by the end of this topic you should know how to draw the electronic structure of any element up to calcium so you start from hydrogen and go all the way up to calcium so let's look at the periodic table and see what new information we can get that will allow us to work out the electronic uh, configuration of any element up to calcium so here's calcium ca so you need to be able to do anyone up to calcium. It's not very difficult so long as you know what you're doing. And that's what I'm here to do to help explain uh, what's going on. Now, uh, we just need to review some information that we learned in a previous video. And I'm going to explain that. Now, as you remember, or as you should remember, these are group numbers. So group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and group 0 which is sometimes called group 8 as well now what you gotta also remember is that this is period 1 so remember periods go across and the periods are in period 1 we only have hydrogen and helium period 2 is lithium and all going all the way across so I'll just highlight that for you so that's period 2 that's gonna be period 3 4 5 6 and period 7 right at the bottom so period 6 is all of this now there is an interesting pattern um, that allows these to be placed in the groups and periods that they are found in let me give you an example so uh, let's get rid of all of this now for example this is boron right so I've just highlighted that and what group is it in well it's in group 3 and what period so that's period one that's period two so boron is in group three period two so what this means is that boron is going to have three electrons in its outermost shell and it's gonna have two shells in maximum so the group number tells you the electrons in the outer shell So how many electrons are in the outer shell and this period number tells you how many electron shells there will be. Right. So let's now put that into practice. So I'm going to write here boron. Uh, it has a top number of 13. Let me just increase the opacity. Uh, so yes, no, it's 11. So boron has 11 at the top and five at the bottom now you see guys I need to use the periodic table so if I need to use it so do you so 11 and 5 I'll just remember that and get rid of our periodic table <coughs> so boron is 11 and 5 right so I'm gonna do my pen number which you should remember just to kind of recap the number of protons electrons and neutrons so the proton is taken from the bottom number so that's 5 so is the electrons and to work out the number of neutrons it's 11 minus 5 which is 6 so I've got 6 neutrons now how do we draw our electronic structure so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to write B for boron and then now if you remember this was in period 2 so I know that I need 2 electron shells so I'm going to write 1 electron shell 2 electron shells so that's done so I've got my period 2 thing. Now if you remember also, it was in group 3. So it was in group 3. So that means in the outermost electron shell, there's going to, it's going to have 3 electrons. So I can do 1, 2, 3. Now, <clears throat> what you need to also be aware of is that in the innermost ring, you can only have a maximum of 2 electrons. So that's going to be 1, 2. Now if you add up all of the electrons, it's 3 plus 2, it'll give you 5. And that's exactly what we said, that there should be 5 electrons. And so that's how you do it. It's really that simple. Let's uh, do another example. 
I'm gonna pause the video when I give you the example and you guys just have a go and then see if you're right okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for oxygen oxygen is 16 and 8 at the bottom okay so here's oxygen which is 16 and 8 now uh, so let's look at the group and the period number so it's in group 6 period 2 so let me just highlight that for you so that's group 6 and that's remember period 1 is right at the top period 2 is just below that and it's in period 2 so group 6 period 2 and I'm gonna write that over here as well so it's group 6 period 2 pause the video have a go and then unpause it and see if you got it right so <clears throat> What I'm going to do just for the purposes of recapping because pa practice makes perfect the number of protons is from the bottom number which is 8 the number of electrons is from the bottom number as well which is 8 the number of neutrons is 16 take away 8 which happens to equal 8 neutrons but obviously we're interested in the number of electrons so let's look at our data well it's in period 2 so that means I'm going to have two electron shells so let me do that first now with O with oxygen the symbol is O and that would confuse you with the electron cell so I'm just gonna write OX okay to remind me that this is oxygen and it's not a shell so here's ring one here is ring two and now what I know is that the group number is six and so it's gonna have six electrons in its outermost shell now watch how you do this guys because this is really important one two three four now once you got your four on then you start pairing so it's five and six this is the inner ring and we already know the maximum you can have in the inner ring is two that's one two so if you look at this you've got six one two three four five six on the ins outside two on the inside total is eight and you've got your eight electrons drawn on brilliant I'm gonna go with two more examples see how you get on <coughs> I'll write the group number and the period number and then you guys have a go at it so let's go for sodium which is Na 23 at the top 11 at the bottom okay Scott Herman go away so Na is 23 at the top and 11 at the bottom so it's in group 1 period 3 so pause the video have a go so what you so I'm gonna write sodium here now it's in period three so that means it's gonna have three electron shells so one two and three so it's in group one so I know on the outer shell it's gonna have one electron so I can just plot that on and now here is where we need to understand the rules completely now so here's rule number one we've already spoke about this rule that the inner shell can only have maximum of two electrons so that's the short way of writing electrons but we can only have two electrons maximum and number two is that every other electron shell every other electron shell can have a maximum of eight electrons only you can't have more than eight electrons so here this is the inside ring we've got two one two I'm gonna change color just to show the different rings and in every other one remember we can have a maximum of eight so this one's gonna have eight so it's one two three four five six seven and eight and then because it's in peri period three we know it's got three rings and group one so it's gonna have one at the end now we need to be able to write the electronic configuration for this so this is two eight one what this means is in the first ring you've got two in the second ring you've got eight and in the final electron shell you've got one electron if you add up those numbers eight plus two plus one gives you eleven which is correct if we went for the pen method 
So guys, I'm going to give you two more examples. Um, remember, maximum you can have in the first ring is two. Maximum in every other ring is eight. And we do these up to calcium only. So let's go for calcium. Calcium's in group two, period one, two, three, four. So just to show you where the period came from, it's one, two, three, and four. All of this is period four. So group two, period four. If I'll just write that on the side. Group two, period four. Now what I'm also hoping that this is highlighting is, guys, I need the periodic table as well. And like I said, if I need it, so do you. So here is calcium. It's 40 at the top, 20 at the bottom. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so I know that the bottom number is the number of electrons, so that's what I need to do. I know it's in period four, so I need four electron shells. So I'm gonna write CA here. So this is my first electron shell. This is my second electron shell. This is my third electron shell. And here is my fourth electron shell. Now I know it's in group two, so the outer place is gonna have um, two electrons. So I'm just gonna write, draw on my one, two electrons. I know the inner shell needs to have two maximum, so that's my inner shell, can't have more than two. And I know that every other one is gonna have eight because that's the maximum you can have. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now guys, I want you to get used to and practice doing it like that uh, because it becomes much more important as we develop these ideas further. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So <coughs> that's it. Uh, the electronic configuration for this is two in the first one, eight in the second one, eight in the next one, and two in the final one. If you add these up, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 electrons. Done and dusted. I am going to do one more, and we're going to do argon. Okay, so let's do argon, which is 40 and 80. <clears throat> so argon is 40 and 18. Now it's in group 0, but I'm going to call it group 8. And this is why I prefer calling it group 8. So it's, argon is group 8 and it's period 1, 2, 3. Group 8, period 3. So let's get rid of this. Uh, in fact, and it's 40 and 18. So argon is 40 at the top and 18 at the bottom. So let's get doing this. So I'm going to write argon here. And it's in period three, so I need three shells. So I'm going to draw one shell here, two shells here, three shells here. Right. Uh, it's in group eight or group zero. Now, this is why I like calling it group eight, because that tells me it's got eight electrons in the outer shell. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and i know that the inside shell can only have maximum of two so that's one two and finally uh the other one's going to have eight as well so one two three four five six seven eight so what's the code for this the electronic configuration for this it's two on the first one eight in the next one and eight in the next one so 8 plus 8 is 16 add the 2 is 18 and that was the number of electrons nice and easy the final thing that I want to explain is that the maximum electrons which you should now know anyway maximum electrons you can have have is 8 in a shell Right. So in which group, the question is, in which group will you have maximum electrons in the outer shell? In the outer shell, 
which group will have the maximum electrons and the answer is in group 8 or group 0 same thing so group 8 because in the outer shell there's 8 electrons and so because of this group 8 elements are called noble gases is called noble gases and basically noble gases are very unreactive We say that they are inert and what this means is that basically uh, because it's got a full outer shell because it's got a full outer shell of eight electrons right um, they don't react so why don't they react because they have a full outer shell of electrons of electrons so you need to be aware of that Brilliant, and that concludes this episode, and I'm going to do another episode on a similar topic, but slightly different.